Welcome to Mr. Fisher Flip's third grade math. Today's lesson comes from Math Expressions and we will be looking at lesson 5-9. Our objective today is to review what an equation is and how to use those equations in a, in a two-step word problem. We want to solve word problems requiring the two operations and we need to review and understand properties of addition and multiplication. So as we look at this, we need to remember what an equation is. An equation is nothing more than a number sentence. Equations take on a life of their own, and we use number sentences all the time. Well, let's look at the anytime problem today. If you want to stop and try it on your own, that's fine. Um, we're going to try and see if we can use the bar method to try and find out the answer. Carly collected 17 box tops for a class project. That was nine more box tops than Brooks. So we need to put here Brooke down here. Carly on top because she collected 17. So we need to put 17 right here. She collected 17 box tops for a class project. That was nine more box tops than Brooke. How are we going to do this? We're actually going to write an equation. 17 minus 9 equals, what's the equation? 8. So there's the first part of the equation. And we find out that 8 goes right here. Brooke had 8. Now we take 17 plus 8 equals 25. Let's move on to math expressions. Let's uh, look at some of the things that will help us understand and apply equations in two-step word problems. And before we do that, let's go over vocabulary. I would write down these examples, at least the ones that are in these boxes, so that you understand the addition properties and the multiplication properties. If we look at the first one, the commutative property of addition, we see that the order doesn't matter. We can change it and it still stays the same sum. 3 plus 5 equals 5 plus 3. Now, the associative property of addition shows that we can change the order. 3 plus 2 plus 5 is the same as 3 plus 2 plus 5. No matter how we group it, it does not change their sum. The identification property of addition, if we add 0, what's the answer going to be? The number we started with. 0 plus any number equals that number. Now, multiplication gets a little confusing. Remember the addition properties and there's going to be some similarities. The commutative property of multiplication shows that no matter which way we multiply them, 3 times 5 is the same as 5 times 3. The associative property of multiplication shows that the way in which we numbers are grouped does not change the product. So even though 3 times 2 equals 6, 6 times 5 is the same as 3 times 2 times 5, or 2 times 5 is 10, 10 times 3 is the same as the other side. You already know these last two properties. They're pretty easy because you know all the multiplication times numbers by 1 is going to be that number. And you also know that anything multiplied by 0 is always going to be the product of 0. Let's move on to a problem that I'd like to model. Mrs. Delgado is baking pies and cakes for a school fundraiser. She bought 26 apples, 29 peaches, and a number of bananas at the farmer's market. She bought 66 pieces of fruit. How many bananas did she buy? Let's look at the equation. She bought 26 and 29, but she doesn't have the number of bananas. We have to figure that part out. This is a two-step problem, and if we look at that, we can find out 26 plus 29 before we find out what that missing number is. So let's take and add 26 plus 29. 6 plus 9 is 15. Where am I going to put that extra 1? I'm going to put it right here. 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5. 55. Now we're going to take that 55 and we're going to move it from 55. We're going to move it over here because we still want to find out what that n equals. That missing number of bananas. 66 and we put 55 here. What do we have to do? What's our second step? We have to take 66 minus 55. And what's 66 minus 55? 11. So how many bananas did she buy? She bought 11. 11 bananas. Our second problem shows that Sarah is a very good cook. Well, her mother is. Her mother baked 48 cookies. Sarah gave a dozen cookies to her neighbor and divided the remaining cookies on plates of nine cookies each. How many plates did she use? This is a very complicated problem. She took 48 cookies and gave 12 away. What's a dozen? 12. Good, you understand that. So if we take 48 and we subtract 12, what should our answer be? 36. Well, well, where are we going to put that 36? Let's put it over here. 36 divided by 9 cookies on each plate. What's, what's our answer going to be? What times 9 equals 36? The answer is 4. 4 cookies on each plate. Now let's apply it. Now really stop. See if you can do this one on your own. And then push play and see if you get it right. 
Thomas has 103 photos in his digital camera. He deletes 33 because they are out of focus. Now I'm going to stop right there because I've got the first two sentences. I'm going to check to see if I can make an equation out of that. And I can because he deletes 33. That means he took away 33. 103 minus 33. Now notice I didn't write an equation. I wrote a problem. 3 minus 3 is 0. 10 minus 3 is 7. We have 70 photos that he has left. He wants to print the remaining photos and put in an equal number on each page of an album that has 10 pages. How many photos will be on each page? Now how do I do that? How do I take and find out how many are on 10 pages? You have to divide. So you take 70 divided by 10 and how many photos will be on each page? 10 times what equals 70? 7. 7 is the right answer. We check our answer and we have 103. There's the equation. 103 minus 33 divided by 10 equals an unknown number. And we found out that unknown number was 7. Now let's problem solve. Again, see if you can do it on your own before you try it or before I show you the answer. Leo bought six sets of books. Each set had the same number of books. He donated 11 books to the school library. This one seems complicated. This one looks a little bit complicated, but if we uh, set it up, we can figure out exactly what they're asking. Six sets. When we say six sets, that's six times something. So we're going to put that in parentheses. Minus, how many did he donate? 11 equals 37. I don't know how to do that, but what if I took this 11? and added it to this 37. So we're going to take it over here and we're going to add 37 plus 11. 7 plus 1 is 8 and 3 plus 1 is 4. That makes sense. He donated 11 books. Well, we, let's give him back those 11 books and find out what the answer is and the answer is 48. Now let's see if we can find out what 6 times something equals 48. Another way to write that it would be 48 divided by 6. See how that interplays with each other? 6 times what equals 48? The answer is 8. Check your answer and we have sample equation is given. 8 books. 6 times something minus 11 equals 37. That something is 8 books in each set that Leo bought. Before we go on, I want to emphasize that property, that means rules that we can use to make addition or multiplication easier. If you look at the properties of addition and multiplication, you'll see that it makes addition and multiplication easier. Here's your math for tonight. There's only going to be nine problems, but you're going to be looking at these ticket cells. When you look at those ticket cells, be sure to read the whole question, read the table, and then see if you can answer the equation. So so let's look at that a little bit closer. Notice you're going to have the table. It's going to show the number of tickets that were sold for the Jungle Adventure, Hannah the Hero, and Space Race. And so you'll probably have to add some of those together. How many more tickets were sold for the early show? So take the early show for Hannah the Hero and subtract. And it's going to be a two-step problem on every one of these. So there's three questions on that side and six questions on this side. Remember, tell me when and where you watched the video. Sum up what you saw. What did you see today? What was that? Equation and what? Two-step word problems. Write one question you might have from the video. That's our lesson for today. Thank you, good night, and good luck on your homework.